Good afternoon and welcome to our first Let's Play on the Kickback Gamers channel. I'm your host, Thorstad. We're going to be playing one of my personal favorites. We're going to break it up into parts, but it's Time Splitters 2. If you didn't know by looking at the title, I'm going to say it one more time. Time Splitters 2. Name just brings back so many memories. It's one of my top five. It's number one out of my top five favorite video games of all time. And that is a big step. That's, you know, there's nothing that can, you know, just come by and take it from me yet. I mean, there's games that come by, you know, I think are awesome, but I can keep going back to Time Splitters any day of the week. And it was my my second introduction into the first-person shooter genre. I mean, I played Goldeneye. If you didn't know Rare, uh, a couple of the level developers from the Rare software who developed Goldeneye left that company and developed Free Radical to make Time Splitters. So, you know, it has a Goldeneye feel to it. But we're going to be doing the story. We're going to be doing it on normal. I've played the game through. I've beaten the game multiple times. We're going to just, you know, run through it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I got a bit of a cold. We're going to have some fun with this. Now, I don't want to be put on hard, but I'm not ready for hard yet. I'm not ready for it to get hard. Now, you won't be seeing too many of the, you know, the beginning and the, the cutscenes because, you know, I've already played through, so there's no really story to get introduced to me. Um, if you want to... Leave a comment, and I'll, you know, upload those, or, you know, you can find them if you have time splitters too, you know, on your own copy. Let's stop. Let's watch this. Nicola. Ah. Shh, shh, shh. We shouldn't be in the research center without security clearance. I'm telling you, I heard gunshots. They'll kill us if they find out. Come on, coward. It's all down to me now. First ever introduction to that game. I saw it on a demo disc. I don't know how long ago it was, but demo disc we got. First video. Oh, I had to get it. I took my mom to the game crazy, and I had to find the game. <laughs> Didn't even know what it was about at first. I just you know bought it based on that first cutscene. Got my mom down to the Hollywood video game crazy, and I looked for it. Oh. Skip the first one entirely, just went for this one. Now, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty beast mode at this. I have worked down my Time Splitters 2 down to a T. Now, if you're ever wondering, you know, what's Kickback Gamers all about, we're not just about video games, we're about a lot of other stuff. We're about comic books, <coughs> movies, oh, oops, movies. Other nerdy stuff, um, loot crates, uh, me as a Thorstad and my older brother Smuda have subscription to Loot Crate, Nerd Block, and Arcade Block. So we're going to be doing some of those reveals, opening up those boxes and whatnot. So if you're ever you know, interested in what's going on in those or what to expect of some of those things, you can come check out our other videos. We're going to be doing unboxings of what's going on in them. The first mission, Siberia, oh, just great introduction, has that Bond feel to it. A lot of stealthy mission stuff going on. I get a little cautious this part because if you get caught by this, if you get tripped by the security cameras, they kind of, they can mess, that can ruin your day just as easily as anything. So, best idea is just kind of keep it stealthy and use the sniper rifle in a way as that. You never know what to expect. Oh, what? 
Gotta get this one. So far, all right. A lot of objectives that you don't, you know, they don't really tell you about. And they just kind of throw you into it. It's just kind of one of those things where you deposit to go to see your objectives. Oh, which you know threw me off as a kid because I really never understood what I was supposed to do, and I backtrack a lot. <laughs> I just get shot. Man, get out there. There we go. One objective that always threw me off that I didn't know we had to do was destroy these. Oh boy, oh boy. There. That was a close one. So I didn't know you had to destroy the filing cabinets. I think maybe I can. Hashtag beast mode. Not really. Right. See, it always threw me off as a kid because I didn't know you had to destroy the satellite. You had to throw those little mines at like a pancake and just, just throw them in as you want. Oops. Oh, I got a game right here. Stop switching weapons. There we go. Okay. Back. To some normalcy. You're gonna enter the dam. And you just gotta love the classic, you know, the wow. I don't know if Steve could hear me. The whole tone and music to this, you know, just makes you feel like I guess you are in Siberia. But it makes you feel like you're playing the new school bond game. See you in the back of the head. Hold that thought for me. Oh. Wanna conserve my ammo for that bad boy in case I need it for later. Oh, come on, come on. The bam. I was expecting a camera right there in the corner just to just screw throw me off my game. And I think the reason I chose to play this over the first time splitters is that there's a little bit more you can see visually than you know as opposed to Time Splitters 1. We will be playing that in later videos. But for now you can there's more you can visually see because in the first one you just kinda smash and grab and run through the levels. So there's not much you can, you know, take your time and enjoy. Like, I can't do that and get up in her face and, you know, shoot her, I guess. You know, we don't put it that way. We want to get, you know, sadistic about this. As in the first time, it's where you're just kind of running through the level as fast as you can with the gun. And shooting everything. There's another guy. He's poking his little me. That should be indication number one. Then. Ah. Yeah, see this get camera screwed me up. Ah.
Uh... Oh boy. Yeah, it's gone. Took a little overkill. A little overkill is better than no kill. Alright. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, yeah. Don't you love it when you can set off your own alarm? You can let the bad guys know, hey, I'm in here. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh, shit. More files. Oh, boy. I'm gonna set that damn thing off. There we go. Now, if you didn't know, you can use a little temp roll uplink right here. You know the you know view objective markers or cameras. I believe there's yes. You don't have to completely destroy the miniguns, but you can shoot the little camera right there. And they shall be none the wiser. You can just go in here and blast everybody. Oh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh. System disc. What are these shifty Russians doing? In the name of freedom, I shall put an end to it. Hey. Aw, oh, he's unsuspecting. And hey, look, there's me. Let me switch you off. After we so rudely interrupted his innermost thoughts. All right, it's shotgun time. Oh, this one. This is not going to be fun. I remember this part because I grabbed the system disc that they were so gladly protecting in the middle of surgery. Bam! Oh, zombies! Oh shit! No oh, shit! The one thing I liked about this game, zombies, more than the last game, is you can blow off their arms. I know that's you know sadistic and mean, but. Come on. Come on. See, look at that. He's all stubby. Now he's all completely stubby. Thank you for that. I was so proud of my skills of doing it. Alrighty. Now we've got a system disc. I think we can do hacking stuff now. We can get this rolling. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I was supposed to do that last. I think I was supposed to do that last. Oh, boy. No, wait, no, wait. No, I don't know what to do. Oh. Hey, there's our fellas from the video. All right. The video. Whoa, you have a time crystal? Ugh. Now from the demo disc that I was talking about earlier, um a little tidbit of trivia. The time crystal was originally a big red orb, you know, as opposed to this little green crystal that you pick up. Oh that's never good. Now that's even worse. Well, I'm so glad I have a face that can identify me then, right? 
I hope that's what it means. Oh, no, they're just going to shoot you. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I kind of deserve it. I kind of walked in on their home turf, assuming things as much. All right. Power is restored. We got the time crystal. I think it's time to get the hell out of Dodge. Sorry, buddy. Ah, shit. Oh. Ah, I saved your life, man. Come on. We're bu we'll be buddies. Ah. Ooh. That was crunchy. Already. Oh, don't you dare! Oh no! Oh. Bastard! I saved your life, man. These special forces guys aren't that good. I'm just a gun-toting maniac. Ow! Yeah. Is this what the Russians are playing? Ah! Oh. Oh. Well, it's about damn time you get it. All right. Suck it. Oh, elevator's working. No, we're going up. Take me to the top. Take me to the top. Still going up. Is this as high as we can go? It would appear so. Oh boy. Where's the helicopter? Where is it? You know what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Oh boy. Oh boy. Did I get it? I got it. And we did it. Time portal stabilized. We're out of there. First let's play of the channel. Time Splitters Part 1. There'll be more coming. We're going to have another one today. I have a lot more games to play. Smooda has a lot more games to play. Treebeard has a lot more games to play. It's going to be off the hook. Stay tuned, comment, subscribe. We'll have a link to our Facebook channel down in the description. It's going to be awesome. Stay tuned for more.